Hello and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a quick way that I use to rewrite my content so that it so that it's fully optimized to rank on page one of Google. And to do this, we're going to be using websites that already rank inside of Google. So let me just go over to my blog post. Um, first of all, so I'm going to go over to um, I'll actually find it down here. Okay, I'm going to go over to my blog post um, and I'm going to try and find a post that doesn't actually rank inside of Google. So we'll actually go over to here, Surfer SEO Review. Okay, so I'm going to take this URL um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go over to Google as well. Let me just quickly go over to here. Okay, and I'm going to do Surfer SEO Review. Okay, so this is our competition here on page one of Google. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these websites that rank inside of Google um, to actually go ahead and rewrite our content. And to do this, we're gonna be using Claude or Cloud AI. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to here. As you can see, we this software actually works with ChatGPT, it works with Google Bard, it works with Bing Chat, and it also works with Claude AI as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go ahead and use this strategy down here. It's called rewrite article. Um, and I'm gonna click on here so you can see what it does. In fact, I've actually got this opened up in a text file so that it's easier to read the actual prompt. So I'm telling Claude AI that I have created a blog post about my keyword and my keyword is surfer SEO review. So I'm gonna add that down here, surfer SEO review. Okay, and the blog post does not cover the topic in its entirety and is missing important terms and topics. I want you to rewrite the blog post to make it comprehensive and SEO optimized. The article you rewrite should be about 3000 words. I am also including the most important LSI terms used by the top 10 ranking sites on Google for the keyword surfer SEO review. I am also including content that I have taken from sites that rank on the first page of Google for the keyword surfer SEO review. I want you to use the information to rewrite my blog post, filling any gaps and topics I have missed. So to make it a comprehensive article, then rewriting my blog blog post to be sure to make it to make it SEO optimized and important terms in bold sorry add important terms in bold and include tables and lists okay so I'm giving it my blog post I'm also giving it LSI terms and I'm also giving it content that ranks inside of Google okay and then I'm just saying remember to rewrite my blog post to make it more comprehensive Rem remember to make use of lists tables headings and to style important terms in bold the post you rewrite should be 3,000 words or more okay so how does how do we actually do this the software actually does everything for you it will go out there it will do a search inside of Google for surfer SEO review exactly like this it will then scrape all of the ranking sites inside of Google's first page it will then go ahead and visit those sites and then bring back all of the content it also gets the valuable LSI terms um, and it does this by ranking all of the content and and finding what the actual LSI terms are. Um, there's a number of things that go on in the background, but I don't want to mention them at the moment because it can get fairly complicated. Instead, I want to show you how you can do this really, really quickly. So what we can see from here is this actually has a four strategies. Well, the fourth strategy is actually a save. Okay, so we do a Google search, we then crawl. The crawl here is the is the URL um, to the post that we want to rewrite. So I'm going to go over to logical. I'm going to add in my um, URL here, so big SEO techniques, surfer SEO review. Okay, and I'm going to click on save, and we only need to add the keyword and the URL. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce this um, delay time down here, and I'm going to go ahead and click on start. And what you're going to see from here is we're doing a crawl. Um, so we're crawling the website, um, we've we're crawling the website and we're also doing a Google search at the same time um, and we're going to get all of the and then we're going to go ahead and crawl all of the URLs that rank inside of Google and now we're going over to Claude AI so I'm not going to be touching this and you're going to see exactly what's going on down here um, and we're adding in all of the content down here okay and Claude AI is now going to go ahead and rewrite our article based on all of the content that ranks inside of Google so let us start and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and show you the exact prompt that we've added inside of here after the software has gone ahead and scraped all of the content and added it as a prompt.
Okay, so we'll give it a few moments. Claude AI is taking a little bit of time to respond. And just to let you know, I'm actually using a free account. So if you have a look down here, oops, if you have a look down here, you can see I'm using a free account. So here we go. So it's already started. Um, unfortunately, it hasn't actually added. Oh, yeah, it is. It's doing well. OK, so what we're going to do is I'm going to scroll all the way to the top so you can see exactly what's gone on inside of this prompt. OK, so it says I've created a blog post about the keyword surf SEO review. The blog post does not cover the topic. I'm also including the most important LSI terms. OK, so here we go. My blog post. And as you can see, it says about me. Welcome to Big SEO Techniques. I'm abs an SEO enthusiast. And then it's going to go ahead and give you uh, and it's going and write the entire or scrape the entire content from that URL, which is all about Surfer SEO review. Okay, let me scroll down and we'll see what else has happened. And now we're giving it LSI terms. And now soft, the software has actually gone out there and got this. So look at these important LSI terms Surfer, content, SEO, keyword, tool page, tools, editors, search, keywords, results, features, data. We actually feed it 100 of the top SEO, um, LSI terms that are used by the top 10 ranking sites inside of Google. And then we say, here's the content, oh, sorry, content from sites that rank on page one. So as you can see, all of this content now that's coming down here are from sites that are ranking on the first page of Google. And we've fed everything to Cloud or Claude AI and we're asking it to go ahead and base or use our content um, and use the content that ranks on the first page of Google to find any gaps and any topics that we've missed and then to optimize our article so that it's even better optimized um, or more optimized to rank inside of Google um, for this. OK, so as you can see, this is lots and lots of content and this content has come by the software going ahead and scraping all of the sites that rank on page one. So I'm scrolling down still just to show you what's actually gone on. And here we go. So here we go. So it's saying here is a 3000 word comprehensive rewrite of your blog post on the keyword surfer SEO review. OK, and as you can see down here, Claude AI is doing a good job. And it's continuing to write. So basically what we've done is we've taken our content here. OK, and we've gone ahead and we've got the content from the top 10 ranking sites in Google um, for our keyword, which is Surfer SEO Review. And then we've visited all of these sites um, and we've got the content from them. And then we've told Claude AI to go ahead and rewrite our content based on the content that's already ranking inside of Google, filling any gaps and topics that we might have missed in our content. Um, and to create an optimized con or to create an optimized article that's about 3,000 words um, that can be used and that can rank inside of Google. So as you can see, it's actually doing a comparison. So it's doing things like clear scope, phrase AI comparison, page optimizer pro, SEM rush, ahrefs, um, and then it's going on and saying, as you can see, Surf SEO occupies a nice middle ground by providing robust. So it's done a nice comparison between all of the all of the actual other services that are in competition with Surfer SEO. And it's going ahead and giving us the good and I'm and it's going to go ahead and give us the bad. The good, the bad and the bottom line. So we're just going to wait until this finishes and we're going to see exactly what kind of content we got from Claude AI. So as you can see, this is complete. What I can do now is I can go over to the editor. I can go over to import and I can import this inside of here. I'm going to go over to date modified and here we go. OK, so we don't want this part here. OK, other than that, this is an entire article. The article is actually 2,553 words. Not bad. OK, and what we can do is we can actually add our keyword in here. Surfer SEO review. OK, and we can get we can do an analysis on this. And what this does, this also goes out there, scrapes Google top 10 results and then it goes and visits the sites and then it calculates the LSI terms and brings back all of the content and what this allows us to do then is it then allows us to get a score based on what the top 10 ranking sites are on as well so if I click on this score button here as you can see we're on 29 which isn't really too cool um, but the reason behind it is because we can actually have a look here we don't actually have any headings down here and these headings um, 
are probably because of the way Claude AI has actually gone ahead and um, given us the outline, uh, the output. So what we can do is we can click on auto optimize. Okay, auto optimize does a little shuffle and we can score it again. And now you can see we're on 48 out of 60. And if we have a look at re the reasons why, we've got one H1, we've got 12 H2s, and we've got 13 H3s. We can add a couple more H3s in there, and we know we're going to be aligned with the top 10 ranking sites. Our content is slightly less than the words that are on the average words on the top 10 ranking sites. Um, but as you can see down here, it works really, really well. If I click on LSI 1, you can see all of the LSI content, all of the LSI words down here ranked in order of popularity. I can click on check and you can see which ones have been used in the content and which ones have not. And as you can see, this is super duper nicely optimized. Um, and we can actually go over to LSI 2s as well, have a look at the LSI 2 ones. We can click on check and we can see it's nicely optimized as well. So anyway, this is how you can rewrite content with one click basically um, using Claude AI um, and using sites that rank inside of Google um, as an outline um, or as a way to direct Claude AI to align our content, fill any gaps and topics um, and, create and create a nice blog post for us. Okay, so the software that I'm using is Prompt Generator AI, and it's the beta version, and the beta version is actually available to everyone that purchases the um, current version as well. So the current version only works with ChatGBT and Google Bard, but the beta version works with Bing Chat, and it also works with Claude AI as well. Um, but not only that, you have multiple advanced strategies. So for example, in the logical strategies, um, the software allows you uh, to scrape URL it allows you to calculate LSI terms after scraping Google or searching Google for your keywords. Um, it gets you all sorts of things. Um, well, the beta version allows you to work with many things. Um, and the really cool thing about this software is, for example, um, if I go over to a normal strategy and if I go over to affiliates, um, and if I go over to Amazon Best Sell, oh, let's go over to Product Comparison Review. Um, what this allows you to do is it allows you to work with all of these engines and even um, ChatGPT4. Um, and it allows you to work with them in such a way so that you can get some data from from Bard and then you can feed it into ChatGPT and then you can go and get data from Bing or what have you. So if we have a look at this, um, this one actually uses Bard and it says list the two biggest competitors for the keyword. So for example, whatever your keyword is, it might be the iPhone 15, for example. Um, and then it goes ahead and asks Bard again, list all the pros and cons for all of the three products provided. And then it goes ahead to ChatGPT um, and then it gets and then it feeds all of the data provided from Bard to ChatGPT. Um, and you can do this with all of these engines down here. So it's really, really cool. Um, and the beta version um, is very, very powerful. Um, it is actually very, very stable as well. Um, and as you can see down here, um, this is our group. We have 621 members in there right now. Um, and from four days ago, um, we got Ken who's actually asking us um, to come up with a strategy or to come up with a way so that we can automate automatically add images um, into our articles as well. So I mean, you can all you can already add images from the top 10 ranking sites in Google. So for example, if I come down here, I can see all of the images that are down here, I can just literally come ahead, drag and drop it down here. And if I wanted to style it, I can come use the editor and style it as well. Um, and we can go and add some padding and what have you on here as well. Um, so we can do something like five and five. Um, and we can add some spacing and everything down here. Um, okay, so um, it is really cool, but he is actually asking us to come up with a way that we can add images into the actual articles, the actual article files that get created. Um, so, um, and I just wanted to show you a quick comment down here um, because these guys are using all sorts of tools. Um, and you can see down here, they're using Zim, Re Zim Writer as well. And I know Zim Writer is a fairly, um, has a fairly large community behind them. Um, but let me just show you what um, our um, own customers say about this as well when comparing it to something like Zim Writer. So it says um, the price went up October the 1st on Zim also. Um, I did not buy it. 
um, tech is moving at light speed and I am getting better content with less effort with PG AI. PG AI is prompt generator AI. Um, and then we've got um, John Smith, who's also a subscriber, um, who says, um, true, I have the early $5 a month subscription, but PG AI is way more superior um, from many of them. So um, I, I didn't want to just give you my own opinion on the prompt generator AI. I wanted to show you what other people are saying about the prompt generator AI as well. Um, and we do have a Facebook group where we help members where we can all go back and um, you know bounce off each other's um, experience um, with artificial intelligence as you mentioned it's running really really fast everything's moving at a fast pace um, and we've had um, chat GPT Bard Bing um, and Claude um, for quite some time now um, but we have had it in beta and the beta version is available for e to everyone as well whoever buys it and we do actually share a bunch of strategies inside of this group as well so if I go over to the file section you can see we've got a rewrite article strategy we've got article from your own outline strategy uh, we've got GPT Claude proof article um, so basically what we do here is we create articles in chat GPT in multiple parts and then we go ahead and send it all over to Claude and say you know what if there's any repetition if um, or anything like that make the article sound as one article really nice so then we can get content in like tens of thousands of words and what have you um, and we got roles that we provide members as well um, LSI headings internal links so we have to strategies that allow you to add internal links using and creating content using LSI terms and headings as well. Um, there's so many strategies that we actually share, guys. Um, and if you have a look down here as well, uh, what you'll see is you have normal strategies and you have logical strategies. And inside of each one of these, um, you have categories. Um, so, for example, if I go over to the articles category, you can see down here we've got a Bard GPT article from Outline and we've got LSI internal links article, article from Outline. And you can actually click on any one of these and start to use them. OK, um, you have the same for logical as well. So logical ones, you have a bunch of ones down here. So, I mean, if we go over to the one that I just used just now, um, that was this one here rewrite article you can actually have um, you can actually have this you can click on this question mark and it tells you what the strategy actually does so it says this strategy allows you to rewrite content um, and then it tells you please add the URL of the blog post you want to rewrite um, and the keywords you are optimizing to rank for and it gives you requirements what's needed to run the article and you can actually go ahead and have a look at the strategy and see how many prompts are inside of this strategy um, so these are prompts the num um, how many prompts we have inside of a strategy some strategies have a um, number of prompts so I mean if I go over to for example I think we've got this ebook one down here 35 chapters um, you can see down here we've got all of these prompts inside of this one strategy um, and you can see the prompts inside of here as well um, okay so anyway um, if you want to get access to this then you can come along to prompt generator AI um, and secure access and when you do secure access um, then you will have then you will be able to also download um, well the very first thing you should do is download the software install it have a look at the video tutorials and join the Facebook group um, when you join the Facebook group then all information needed to download the beta version and start working with the additional AI engines and the additional strategies and obviously the other strategies that we share um, is all available inside of this Facebook group so come along um, get access join fa join the family um, and you can really start to create content um, that ranks high inside of Google uh, without much effort whatsoever